Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel and for those who are new here, thank you for dropping by. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hannah. Hannah some books and diaries with music and travels made together. I'm glad that you're dropping by and hey, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, do subscribe. It's just for free and I would really appreciate it. Well, how are you guys doing today? Well, today here in the Netherlands, we have beautiful weather i may say because the sun shines and i just received a bouquet of tulips and it's a tradition here in netherland before the we call it uh nayar the lente we received um, a flower from our family and this is from hank's mom and it's very pretty i was just take the time to yeah to put it in a table and it's so nice it's also giving a positive vibe and looking forward for the for the spring and it's beautiful color. So that's just sharing a little bit information. Um, here in the Netherlands at the moment, we are still in the lockdown. And as we all know, it's New Year and we are all looking forward for new possibilities, new year and new perspective, new inspiration. But it seems that it's not yet um, over and still we are looking forward to yeah that this soon will be over and everything will go back to normal who doesn't want that I think we all missed the the normal way of life well moving forward our topic for today is does the coronavirus affect your singing voice and before i answer that disclaimer i am not a professional researcher uh, but i am a health worker and i did my research for this and i'm talking based on my own experience that's true what i mean that i'm talking about my own experience because last november last year i was covid positive yes it's not only that I was scared to lose my life, but I'm also scared if ever everything will be back to normal, can I sing again? I was scared I will lose my voice. And that's what our topic for today. And it's relevant because it's about health and singing. And if you, if you haven't checked my channel yet, what I did in my channel is so I do covers and I'm also a singing songwriter. And so, as what I said, last November, I was COVID positive and it's not only it was a scary experience, but it's, it's a roller coaster experience. It changed my perspective in life more in, in, in this way, but it's also a big risk for me because I am a heart patient. Um, well, I can talk about that in my other video, but today, um, I'm gonna share to you about what are the symptoms and what it was to me during the infection period with my voice. Even if you have just normal colds, you're gonna be suffering from nasal congestion and that's included with the runny nose and the stuffy nose and you're not only sick, but you're not feeling well as, uh, at that moment. But we are talking about this strong virus that target our respiratory system. Not only our body is fighting for this virus, but it's also damage our voice. What are my symptoms and what happened to me during the infection period aside that my body is fighting for the virus? I have infection with my throat and I have hoarseness, I have a weak, weak of voice leading to loss of voice. I couldn't sing, I also have a hard time to talk. I have a dry throat, I have a dry cough, and yeah, stuffy nose, running nose, and just my whole respiratory system is was very weak. And as a singer, uh, breathing is also important and at that moment I also had a hard time to breathe. What I said, I'm talking about my own experience. So even if you're a professional singer, professional singer out there, I'm sure that you can relate and you will agree. Maybe not everybody, but you cannot sing and give the 100% performance if you are infected with the virus. 
and, and of course if you persist to sing it can lead to uh, serious damages like scarring of your throat so we don't want to have that so my advice at that moment my advice for you if you are a singer and you're a beginner singer just uh, wait until it's over give your body to rest give your voice especially to rest your whole body to rest and don't um, don't use your voice at the moment be nice and give love to your voice the question is why we have hoarseness during the infection period well of course there is an inflammation in your voice box which we also call larynx and um, that is due to overuse of your voice and in this case the infection of the virus and because of that infection um, your vocal cord get inflamed and irritated and this irritation can cause swelling in your vocal cord and distort the sound that produced by air passing through them. So what I'm trying to say is that when you sing and you try to open your mouth and because it's swelled, that's the cause, the hoarseness of our voice because ugh, when you try to open it and there is not enough air to pass to our vocal cord and that is what, ugh, you know what I mean? It sounds really weird. If you're a singer out there, you're professional or a beginning, a beginner singer, you can understand and you can relate what I mean. So even though you try to do your best, it's just can't. Nada, no, no, imposible. That is, as again, I'm talking about my own experience. So my advice to you during this infection period is just give your body a permission to get sick in a way that you take care of your body, you take care of yourself, you get enough rest, get enough sleep, drink a lot of water, especially warm water with uh, ginger, honey, and lemon that helps a lot. And take a lot of vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin D is very important. And give it a time and don't uh, push your voice to perform or to sing even if it's not ready because in the long run, it will destroy your voice and it will cause to a long-term damage which we don't want that especially if your voice is your way of livelihood and even if not even if you're not a singer and if you use it we use our voice every day that's very important so take care of your voice and um, be patient with it because it will heal in in in, in a given time so what i did during this period when I already recovered from the virus is that I um, I took it step I took it step by step I do the vocalizing again I do the speech lesson again and I can do it and you don't need to spend money for it you can google you can watch it in YouTube but step by step how to regain your strength of your voice by vocalization and voice exercise and so forth so that's it guys so that's what Again, this is based on my experience and I hope you learn from it. And if you know someone, you can give an advice, go ahead. And, and again, thank you so much for watching. And I'm very happy to talk to you again this new year. And I wish you all the best this new year can give. And stay safe. Give yourself a rest if you are if you are infected. And I hope you're not. Uh, stay home, stay safe. And uh, yeah. Take care of your voice and leave your comment below and don't forget to give a like this video so YouTube know that I am doing well. It's a big help to my channel. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I see you again for my next video. Bye guys.